Norse gods like Thor, Odin, and Loki have always been known for their supreme power and robust build. But if we see the Norse goddesses, they hold an equal amount of an integral part in Norse mythology. In today's video, we'll take a look at the strongest female deities in Norse mythology. Let's dive deeper into the topic. Number 7. Skadi Skadi is the Norse goddess of winter and mountains and holds a significant position in Norse mythology. She was not born as a goddess, instead she was born and raised as a frost giantess. Most frost giants were usually unattractive or just downright ugly and were known to be notorious and enemies to the gods. On the contrary, Skadi was known to be a young maiden who had the skin of a frost giantess but the face of a goddess. Skadi was depicted as being kind-hearted compared to the rest of her kin. She was still as tough as they came but not quick to anger and used opportunities rather than starting a fight. She joined the ranks of the goddesses through her own means. Once accepted, she was welcomed for her strength, abilities, and beauty. Number 6. Sif Although Sif played a major passive role in the world of Norse mythology, she was well known for being the wife of the mighty Thor and played an indirect part of the creation of his legendary hammer. According to legends, trickster Loki decided to play a trick on Sif by cutting her long golden hair, which was her trademark. As a result, a furious Thor threatened to destroy Loki if he didn't replace the lost mane with something enchanted. Thus, a frightened Loki found some skilled dwarves who created the replacement headpiece. Intrigued by their enchanted creation, Loki asked them to create their enchanted objects, which in turn leads to the creation of six magical items, including Thor's legendary hammer, Mjolnir. Number 5. Adun Adun was the goddess of spring and youth, whose store of magical apples could rejuvenate the gods when they grew too old. Yes, these are the same apples Kratos eats to increase his health meter. She was also the wife of Bragi, the Norse god of poetry. Things went south when the giant Theosy forced Loki to help him plan Idun's abduction in order to take her and her magical apples to the realm of giants. As a consequence of her abduction, the gods started to age very quickly and thus Loki, the trickster god, was forced to embark on a rescue mission in order to get Idun and her magical apples back. Loki did so by turning himself into a falcon with the help of Freya's falcon cloak and snatched Idun up in his claws by turning her into a nut. After rescuing Idun, the giant was later killed and youth was restored within the gods again. Thus, the ability to restore youth within the deities made Idun a very important and influential Norse goddess. Number 4. Hel Hel, being the goddess of the underworld, was a pretty powerful and terrifying individual. She was the daughter of Loki, which already gave her immense power and strength. She presided over the Norse underworld, where all the Vikings who didn't die in battle went. Half of her body was made of flesh and blood, while the other half was just made of bones. This half-decaying look of her befitted her role in the underworld, where she judged and decided the fate of the souls which entered her realm. A belief was reinforced within the Vikings after Hel decided the fate of Baldur's soul after his death, that she was more powerful than Odin himself. Number 3. Freya Freya was the goddess of fate, love, beauty, gold, war, and fertility. Freya was also known for her mastery of a form of magic known as Seder. This form of magic enabled her to control and manipulate the desires and prosperity of others. She rode a chariot driven by cats and had a cloak of falcon feathers that could enable her to fly. She was a member of the Vanir and ruled over the heavenly meadow of Folkvanger, where half of all those who died in combat would go whilst the other half were guided by the Valkyries to Valhalla, which was ruled over by Odin. Due to her ravishing looks, Freya was lusted after by many in Norse mythology. Due to this, she was even humiliated by Loki during a chariot feast of the gods, where Loki claimed that Freya was an evil sorceress who had slept with everyone in Asgard, including his very own brother. Freya was far more than a hypersexualized and objectified female figure in mythology. She owned a torque or necklace known as the Brisingaman, which she obtained by sleeping with the dwarves. Her association with fate and destiny made her one of the most powerful Norse goddesses. Some even say Freya and Frigg originated as the same goddesses due to their similarities and later on developed separate personas as time went on. Number 2. Frigg The goddess of fertility, motherhood, and prophecy, 
Frigg was the wife of the Norse god Odin, and thus was regarded as the queen of the Asir gods. Being Odin's wife, she was the only one who was allowed to sit next to him. And although Odin had many extramarital affairs, she always stuck by his side. Worshipped as the goddess of the sky, Frigg was associated with wisdom, marriage, family, and fertility, and was thus the loftiest goddess of Norse mythology. She was also blessed with the power of divination, which she never revealed to anyone. Despite her formidable position, she is arguably best known for her tale of heartbreak at the hands of the trickster god Loki. Horrified by a prophecy that her beloved son Baldr was soon to die, Frigg sought out almost everything in creation from fire and water to animals, trees, and even diseases to secure their promise not to harm Baldr. Unfortunately, she missed out on the seemingly harmless mistletoe. When Loki discovered this oversight, he tricked Baldr's blind brother into throwing mistletoe at Baldr, killing him. Thus, her fiercely protective motherly instincts would play a pivotal role in the tragic death of her son, Baldr. The word Friday has also stemmed from Frigg's name, as in Old English, it was known as the Day of Frigg. And number 1. Norns While many would say the most powerful god or goddess in the Norse pantheon would be Odin, but contrary to popular belief, he isn't. Odin is the most powerful of the Aesir, yes, but not the most powerful in Norse cosmology. Although not a singular being, that title belongs to the Norns. The Norns were three wise women spinners who determined every allotted lifespan. Their names were Erd, Verdande, and Skold. One spun out the thread of each life, another measured its length, and the third decided when the thread should be snapped. They lived underneath the world tree, where they wove the tapestry of fate. Each life was believed to be a single string in the tapestry, and the length of that string correlated to the length of each life. Everything was thought to have been preordained, and even the gods, including Odin, had threads in the tapestry, although the Norns did not allow the gods to see their own strings. So these are our choices of the strongest Norse goddesses. Do let us know in the comments your views on who the strongest, according to you, is. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the post notifications of our channel. Until next time!